Apps, apps, apps. Android is all about apps. And woe be to you if you don't know how to install and uninstall Android apps. Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to Android Authority. Everything that you can do on your Galaxy S4, you can do because of apps. Some of those apps come pre-installed on your phone, while others you install from sources such as the Google Play Store. You usually can't remove pre-installed apps, but you can easily remove those apps that you installed yourself. In this video, I'll teach you 5 ways to uninstall apps from your Galaxy S4. The first way, in fact the most common way, to uninstall apps is through the Google Play Store app. I might even say this is also the easiest, yet believe me, some people don't even know that they could uninstall apps. Just open the Play Store app, tap on Menu, select My Apps, tap on the name of the app to be removed, and tap this Uninstall button right here. One downside to this method is that, if you install apps manually, some of those apps may not appear on your list of apps here. Another way to remove apps is through your Galaxy S4's built-in application manager. You can access it by opening the Settings app and going to the More tab. Application Manager lists your installed apps and shows them in four tabs. This one's for your downloaded apps. This one's for apps installed in your phone storage. This one lists all apps that are active or running in the background. And this one, of course, lists all of your apps. To remove an app, just open the app's info page by tapping on its name. Then, tap the Uninstall button. Pre-installed apps usually can't be installed, so there may not be an uninstall button for them. If you prefer a hassle-free way to remove apps, here's an uninstallation method that doesn't take you beyond the app drawer. Just open the app drawer on your Galaxy S4, tap the menu button, then select Edit. You'll see the icon grid shrink a bit like this, which means you're in editing mode. Simply hold down the icon of the app you want to remove, then drag it to the trash icon at the top. There's yet another method here in the app drawer. This one's more straightforward. Just tap the menu button, then tap Uninstall. You'll see these little red bars overlaid on the icons of apps that you can uninstall. To uninstall an app, just tap on the red bar overlaid on its icon. Yet another uninstallation method is through the use of app managers, task managers, or file manager apps. Many of such apps also include a function for uninstalling apps. ES File Explorer, for example, has an app manager component. Just tap the fast access button right here, then tap tools to expand the list, and tap app manager. Here, for example, is a list of apps installed on my phone. Just long tap on an app until this row of buttons appear at the bottom. From here, just mark those apps that you want to uninstall. You can uninstall several apps very quickly through this method. Lastly, there's the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB, for those who are comfortable with the command line and with geeky stuff. For this method to work, you'll need to install ADB and the Android Software Development Kit on your computer. ADB must be able to recognize your Galaxy S4 when the phone's connected to your computer via USB cable. Once everything's properly set up, all you really need to do is enter this command at the terminal. Replace this part with the actual app's package name. For example, if you want to uninstall the Firefox app, replace this with the Firefox app's package name. But what if you don't know the package name? To see a list of package name of apps installed on your Galaxy S4, enter this command. You should be able to find Firefox on this list. Ah, here it is. Now you can uninstall the Firefox app with this correct command. There! Success! App uninstallation may be a trivial task for those who have been in the Android camp for quite some time, yet it is often a necessary maintenance task. In this video, I showed you 5 different ways to remove apps from your Samsung Galaxy S4. I hope you find the tutorial useful. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark. Thank you for watching. And remember, the power of Android is yours.